Hi, I'm Rick Vanover, Senior Manager of Product Strategy at Veeam Software. Today we're going to take a look at Veeam Explorer for Oracle, which is part of Veeam Availability Suite V9. Let's go right into the demo. The first thing I want to do is walk through how a backup is created with Veeam Backup and Replication for an Oracle database. So I have this job created. Let's walk through the wizard and see what I've done. I've given it a name. This clearly tells me that it's an Oracle database system. Chances are they're different in your environment. You might want to highlight them as such. I have one virtual machine that's running Oracle, and this is a VMware example. But if I had multiple VMware virtual machines running Oracle, they could all be in this job. Or if it was Hyper-V, I could have multiple Hyper-V virtual machines running Oracle listed right here. This particular one is around 70 gigabytes, and I'm placing that backup on a relatively high performance piece of storage. It's an SSD repository. That makes sense for the demos that I'm doing, but you don't necessarily need to change your repository practice based on the Oracle databases you're backing up. Now I'm keeping 14 restore points. That is the image-based backup that will multiply by the days that it runs at the second part of the schedule here. But just keep that in mind. This screen right here is where it gets very specific for Oracle. The application-aware image processing, which has been around for years, now has logic for Oracle. The new tab is up here. And let's go through these options. The first thing I've done is dropped in a SysDBA level credential. This Oracle Builder account is that credential on the system I'm backing up. I have an option to truncate logs older than 24 hours. And then secondly, I'm backing those logs up every 15 minutes. This will run as a secondary job of sorts, separate from the image-based backup specifically for the logs. I can also keep those logs as long as I'm holding the image level backup or just for a few days. Pretty flexible set of options right here. Then the other half of the schedule is when the image-based backup will run. So I have it set to run at 11 p.m. on just a few days a week. Again, this is a lab environment, so those requirements make sense. But what's very important for the Oracle databases is that I have that separate job managing the logs. And that's all we need to do to make that backup. Now that we've shown you the backup job, let's show it running from the log perspective and let's see what it looks like with an Oracle database. All of the components of the image-based backup are generally the same, except right here, there are two specific entries that indicate that the Oracle databases are being saved. This allows us to be clear that the backup has the full virtual machine and it is aware of those Oracle databases. Additionally, you remember the log job that we spoke of? That will run right here. And you can see that this virtual machine has had uh, pretty good success for the one database we're protecting. Uh, there have been no misses recently. Uh, it's not a big log, but you can see some information about how that database is protected. So with that, we can also go and run Veeam Explorer for Oracle. And I've already got that up right here. And I want to highlight two things. Those two databases are visible right here. And you can see that the log mode, no archive log on this database, is going to give me a different restore option. This one, which is the one I care about, has archive logging enabled. I'm going to be able to do point in time recovery with this one. So let's go ahead and launch Veeam Explorer for Oracle. I'm going to find the point in time where I deleted a table out of this table database. Now, unfortunately, I dropped a table that I created, and uh, it's, it's not so much a good thing. So let's go ahead and find it and also select this option to restore to a specific transaction. Now I can see the transactions listed in chronological order that have happened on this database. The drop statement here, that's the undesired transaction that I want to restore to. So when I click the wizard here, I'm going to recreate the database to the point prior to that transaction. 
I do have to drop in an account with the appropriate privileges. What I'm using on the Veeam Backup and Replication Console doesn't have the permission to manipulate on the Oracle database. If I wanted to, I could recreate the database with a different path, global database name, or Oracle SID, but I'm going to keep it the same. And just like the backup job, I'm going to pass in that Oracle Builder credential on the local database system. The final part of the Restore Wizard is going to show me all of the different elements of the database, control files, data files, temp files, and log files that are going to be used in the target to recreate this database. I'm going to go ahead and restore it. Now that that restore task is completed, let's also go look inside of Oracle and make sure that that table's returned. So this is a connection to the actual Oracle server right here. I'm looking at the database tables of that database I'm interested in. And you can see the database tables that start with V don't have that one called Veeam example that I'm looking for. The restore process is completed, so let's go ahead and double check and see what we see. I'm going to just reconnect to that Oracle database. And let's go on down to the ones that start with V. And there you can see it. There's the one called Veeam Example. It's been recreated in that database from Veeam Explorer for Oracle, replaying those logs, and it's back in service just as I expect. As you can see, it's that easy. Veeam Explorer for Oracle, which is part of Veeam Availability Suite V9, allows you to have the best RTOs for your Oracle databases. Be sure to go to veeam.com for more information.